another one. And if I may, I would like to start this video off by thanking Wawa for their existence here in the Northeast. Just wanted to quickly give Wawa thanks for their service to our country, to our countrymen, and to our country women. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what is good with you? It's your boy Travis Kinley coming back to you with another one. And I just want to give my thoughts on something, okay? This is a topic I've actually been thinking about doing for a while. Not exactly sure why I hadn't gotten to it. And uh, that is this. I think it is a really... I do not think it is a great idea to be motivated by money to be easily moved by a dollar I don't think it's a good idea man that's a cool looking rock I don't think it's a good idea okay don't be don't be moved by a dollar you know I think about uh think about like a sumo wrestler right or an elephant, a large animal, right? Whether human or otherwise, think about a large animal. And, uh, or, or a donkey, oh gosh, you know. Um, donkeys are animals of the will. What I mean by that is, a donkey is a great example, because it's not even large. You know, a donkey is an animal of the will. What I mean by that is, unless you convince a donkey that something is attractive, a donkey's not gonna move. You know, I was talking to Taylor about the old donkey video that I went viral over, yada, yada, yada. And I, was, I was telling him, like, most people don't understand donkeys. Like, I don't like when they say donkeys are stubborn. Donkeys aren't necessarily stubborn. Donkeys are as stubborn as people are. How about that? Donkeys are not necessarily stubborn. They're just not like dogs. They won't do something simply because you called their name, simply because you kissed at them and said, come on, donkey, they're not gonna come. Instead, you've gotta convince the donkey that it is something that they desire to do. Otherwise, they are unmoved. A donkey is not gonna move for a dollar but a donkey might move if you convince the donkey that, hey, we'll have a good time if you do it, All right? So, see, donkeys aren't necessarily stubborn. They're just animals of the will. Well, humans are also animals of the will, meaning we tend to move based on what we will or will not do, not only based on, you know, you called my name and said, come, while, uh, you know, if you call me from the couch and you're like, come here, if you're not my wife, I'm gonna ask you what you want before I move. I want to know if it's worth me moving. Don't let money be the only thing that's worth you moving for. Don't let money be the primary thing that's worth you moving for. It's not, it's not worth it. Otherwise, you'll constantly be moving. For every, for every dollar that pops up that's more than the dollar that you're making now, you'll constantly be jumping, hopping, moving. If it looks like it might be, you'll be willing to take the risk. For me, this isn't just about leasing. It's not even just about trucking, but of course this is a trucking channel. One time I was gonna make a video about um, not falling for the gimmicks. And it's primarily for like the trainees, the newer drivers. Cause if you've been a driver for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Don't, don't fall for the gimmicks as far as job opportunities. Don't fall for these gimmick companies. You know, hit you up in the email, hit you up on your cell phone. Oh, we'll, we'll offer you such and such, you know, cent per mile, you know. You know, we're gonna offer you APU unit. We're gonna offer you, you know, guaranteed 3,000 miles a week. I told you how I feel about that before. We're gonna offer you this, we're gonna offer you that. Don't fall for the gimmicks. Because what they're gonna do is they're gonna flash money in your face and see if you'll move for it. Grass ain't always green on the other side. I've told it time and time again, I've said, don't go lease for money. It's not a good idea. It's just not a good idea in my opinion. Anyone can be moved by money, whether you are 
someone who is business minded or not. If you're not business minded, you'll be you'll be throwing more money, so much money in a trash can that you could have in your pocket. You're never gonna see it. Or something bad is gonna happen. A breakdown is gonna happen. You're gonna get frustrated. and You're gonna tap out. Don't be moved by money. I'm telling you, it's not a good idea. Or anyone can make you move. It'll be easy to make you move. You'll be job hopping. You won't be consistent. And you know, ultimately for me, it's that, listen, you don't have to be a religious person to really understand the concept I'm about to give to you. Because we are people of the will, animals of the will, there will always be something that is of chief importance to us. Meaning there's nothing more important than this in my life. This is of chief importance, whether for some people it's their spouse, for some people they're married, but it's their kids. For some people it's money. Uh, I've, I've heard a guy say one time for, especially, particularly for men, it's gonna come down to one of three things, one of three Gs, either gold, glory, or girls. For some people it's gold, for some people it's fame, for some people it's women, men, relationships, materialism, whatever the case may be, welcome to America, you already know what I'm talking about. Because we are animals of the will, there is something that is always of chief importance. Now, a religious person would tell you that that is your God. From a very objective standpoint, you don't have to be a religious person, just the uh, idea of the word God implies of chief importance usually all-powerful usually all-knowing um, sometimes omnipresent all present in all places at all times transcending time and space usually uh, just the idea separated from the thing that is of chief importance usually people see that thing as something more powerful than myself something that can elevate me take me to a place that I cannot take myself don't let money be that thing Another way I have described it to people is we all have a throne room in our metaphorical heart. And on that throne, you know, you think of like that, that majestic looking chair. On that throne is that thing that we hold in ch of chief importance. And that's why I say don't be moved by money. Don't let money just move you and uproot you. Let money be the chief motivating factor of your decisions. Oh, more money? Gone. Life's more about money. Life is more than money. It's more than... It's just more than that. One time I took a job that provided me like a twenty to $30,000 annual increase in, in revenue, you know, gross, like to myself. It was just a regular, you know, a salary job. I wasn't like, a, I wasn't running a business. It was like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 more than I had been making before. But uh, I really wasn't happy there, though. I took the job and I worked it for a little bit. I can't remember exactly how long. But I wasn't really happy, though. And then the next job I took was like a ten dollars to $15,000 cut. And I enjoyed that job so much more. I enjoyed that one so much more. I stayed there probably somewhere around twice as long, two to three times as long. Um, I enjoyed that job so much more. If money was a worthy God, I'm coming up on 10 minutes, so I'm about to shut up. If money was a worthy God, you would not see so many wealthy people committing suicide. If money was a worthy God, so many wealthy people wouldn't commit suicide, whether it's from depression, anxiety, and things of that nature. Money could have bought them out of that. It could have saved them. Money's not worth being moved over. Move for something else. That's all I'm saying. Move for something else. Don't go lease for money. Move for something else. Don't switch trucking companies for money. Move for something else. Don't marry for money. Move for something else. A whole lot of people over there married to somebody rich and unhappy as all get out. Mama told me one time, don't be jealous of what's going on in somebody else's house because you don't know what's going on behind their door. All right, move for something else. Checking out, hey, just want to give Wawa one more shout out. Thank you for your service to our country, our countrymen, and our country women. Don't forget, I love y'all. Find you somebody to love. It is not about what you believe. It is why you believe it. Live free.